Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial. This is going to be a tutorial on the plugin PEX. Um, also here with Nax127, and um, we're just going to teach you to take you through some stuff that I found difficult when I started using PEX, and hopefully it could help some other people. Um, so we're, we're going to get right into this. So first of all, if you do ooh, notice, if you do slash PEX, you can't do like PEX user. Um, like you just you just don't have any permissions, even if you're off. So that's a lot different to group manager. So um say first of all, maybe you're not the the um owner of the server, you can do it this way and plus this way is a lot easier because the other way is doing it in the co config and that's just really difficult. So right, first of all you're gonna want to get a command block or type this in um your console and you're gonna type pex, you don't need any slash because it's a console, user and then your name. That's just showing that, you know. Your name and then add and then star and make sure command blocks are, um, are on the server obviously so then you like go like that so I'm going to put my name in it doesn't have to be your full name but you know whatever so slash pex user now I get pex commands so that's your first step so now you've done that you're going to go pex groups and there's no groups, so that's good because we it will start with um, with default group, but I we deleted that for the purpose of this. So you do pex group, and then the name of the group. So say you want the group owner, you'd have to do caps or anything because they're not going to actually see this. And then create, and then say you want to put like um um. Uh, inheritance here from another group you just put that here but we don't have any inheritance so group owner already exists what the hell okay is that must have not deleted it properly <laughs> alright well we'll have a group mod just call it fish or something like that. okay fish group fish created so pecs so we've got a group called fish now and it, as you can see, it's got that the inheritance will be in those brackets, and it's rank zero. So first of all, you're going to want to add some permissions to your group fish. So we're going to have them do every permission. So slash pex group fish, and then space, and then add. You always put add when you want to have permissions, and then you just put the star like that. So permission um, star added to fish. So and that means fish can do every command now without being op. So if we just add nakib to fish, pex user nax group. Tell me when to speak in the chat. Now, talking chat nakib, you, it won't have anything different, but um, you can do every command now. So Hi. yeah, you're op anyway. Oh, so. Let me de op myself. So and if yeah, yeah de op so. yourself again. De op yourself again. Next, one, two, seven. Yep. Yeah. So that means you got every command now. So um, now, you, if you want to add them a prefix, now the prefix is the bit that goes behind their name, like the pre. So it goes behind their name. So slash pex group um, fish um, fix, and then you put the prefix here. So we'll have it as um, and one. Uh, fish. That's dark blue, and then and gold, and one. So now I'm talking chat, Nakeep. Uh, fishy, fishy. Okay, and I'll tell you to get rid of that in a minute. So another thing is, I just remembered, if you want to do all this stuff in in the chat, you're gonna want you get Chat Manager, and you need to enable Chat Manager. Just click on Chat Manager, click on the config of Chat Manager, and then enable. It's really simple. And, but another important thing which I got stuck on once was it comes with the permission and it looks like this. Well, modify, modify world, and then it's got dot star. And I thought maybe that's for modifying the world, and they could do every command with it. I didn't really know because I was a bit of a noob. And you're gonna want to give them that because if you don't give them that, they can't um, talk and chat, they, and they won't be able to step on pressure plates or anything like that and also you don't want essentials anti-build or essentials um 
like any of the essentials build things that stop you from building because that will also um, stop it from working I think it did for me so that's that so now um, he's got his prefix but you want to have it only one prefix so I can I can remember it I could type it in but I just find it easier to copy and paste in so and say you want to change his ca chat color you paste that in and then you change this to group fish and then you, um, for some reason it d gives you two pre prefixes that's because what we did earlier messed it up you won't need to do this but if it this does happen just take off the prefix bit and then like that and Naki what do you want your chat color to be mate? just do the fishy color you know the color you wrote fishy in okay we'll do it in Andy and now talk and chat so fishy next one to seven, and say you want his name color the name his his name to be a different color. You do that when you do his um when you do his uh prefix. Say you want his name to be his color to be um dark green. Talking chat. You just put the color code after the suffix the pref prefix, but um he changed it. I'm not really sure why that's doing that actually. I think he either either um he I did, did it um, with essentials or because when you're op it automatically gives you that red colour and I don't think you can change it. You have to change it with um essentials. Mm. So that's about it for pecs and stuff. That's how to add um <laughs> add permissions, how to oh crap frozen. How to add permissions, how to add prefixes and suffixes is just the same, you just change prefix to suffix. That's how to basically just get started really. So if you want more advanced tutorials, um, like how to set ranks, please comment that you want that, subscribe and like and thanks for watching. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.